Hey, what's going on, family? This is Scrapbook Box in the Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff series. I want to take a look at a fighter by the name of Chalky Wright. Fantastic fighter. He was from Mexico. Chalky Wright had a record of 150 fights, 40 losses, 15 with 75 knockouts. Let's take a look at his career. Chalky Albert Wright, born February 10th, 1912, Durango, Mexico. He stood five foot seven and a half inches and was managed by Eddie Walker. Chalky Wright started his professional career in 1928. His previous record is unavailable. But in 1929, he was placed on a card on his professional debut, July 5th with a fighter by the name of Frisco Linda. El Centro. He lost in four rounds. October 7th, Kit Alvino, Los Angeles, California. He defeated him in four rounds. November 11th, Ray Cervantes, Los Angeles, California, defeated him in four rounds. 1930, he had one fight. December 12th, Raymond Montoya. San Diego, California, he lost that fight in 10 rounds. But in 1931, on January 13th, he fought a fighter by the name of Hurata Evans. Los Angeles, California, defeated him in four rounds. February 13th, Ray Butler, San Diego, California, defeated him in 10 rounds. August 11th, Baby Jack Dempsey, Los Angeles, Knocked him out in two rounds. In 1932, he defeated a fighter by the name of Willie Davis on May 3rd in Los Angeles. Defeated him in the fourth round. June 7th, Hurata Evans, Los Angeles, California. Knocked him out in five rounds. July 12th, Al Greenfield, Los Angeles, California. He would defeat him in four rounds. On August 26th, Johnny Manila. San Diego, California. He would defeat him in six rounds. September 2nd, Mose Bailey, San Diego, California. He had a six round draw. But on October 11th, he would face Jess Macy, Los Angeles, California, and knock him out in one round. He would give that back in October, two day, a couple of days later, on the 19th. And he would fight Kid Ponce, Long Beach. Knock him out in two rounds. That's in California. November 22nd, Al Greenfield, Los Angeles, California. Defeat him in four rounds. 1933, would fight twice. August 22nd, Whitey Neal, actually three times. Portland, Oregon. Defeat him in six rounds. Newsboy Brown, good fighter. Lost in ten rounds. October 17th, Eddie Shea. Los Angeles, California, and he would be knocked out in the very first round. Junior Lightweight Championship of California. Whitey Neal, Portland, Oregon. He would defeat him in six rounds. And then he would get a four-round knockout in San Francisco over Huracha Evans. So he would actually have five fights in 1933. 1934, he would have three fights. May 25th, Frankie... Benigas, El Centro, knock him out in five rounds. That's in California. June 8th, Freddie Miller, another good fighter. We went over his profile. El Centro, California. He would lose in 10 rounds. October 8th, Mose Butch, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He would lose in 10 rounds. 1935, he would have one fight. May 10th, Pablo Dano, Watsonville. He would lose in 10 rounds. 1937, June 14th, Bobby Gray, Louisville, Kentucky, KO him in five rounds. July 30th, Cecil Payne, Louisville, Kentucky. I went over him. He would have a six-round draw. I just showed you a photo of him. Excuse this uh, camera. August 7th, Freddie Steele. Freddie Steele was a middleweight champion, Seattle, Washington. He would have a three-round exhibition with him. August 25th, Sonny Valdez, Los Angeles, California. 
he would defeat him. September 7th, Georgie Hainsford, Los Angeles, California, defeat him in six rounds. September 21st, Bus Breeze, Los Angeles, California, defeat him in ten rounds. Now, October 5th of that same year, 1937, he would face Baby Aris Menzi. This is October 5th, Los Angeles. He would lose in 10 rounds. The baby Aris Menzi would have lots of fights with Henry Armstrong. He's a very good Mexican fighter. August 17th, Georgie Hainsford, Los Angeles, California, 10 round draw. 1938, February 1st, Hammer and Henry Armstrong, Los Angeles, California. He would be knocked out in three rounds with Henry Armstrong. I have Henry Armstrong ranked number four of all fighters in history. August 17th, Ali, good fighter, New York City, knock him out in four rounds. And this would go on. He would lose a fight and he would win four or five or six fights. December 5th, Pete DeGrasse, New York City, knock him out in five rounds. Very good fighter. I have a profile. I will show you him soon enough. Very good fighter. December 26th, Joey Fernando, New York City. He lost to him in eight rounds. 1939, January 3rd, Tony Spiegel, good fighter, Brooklyn, New York, defeat him in 10 rounds. January 14th, Johnny Rohage, Brooklyn, New York, defeat him in 8 rounds. January 31st, look at that, three fights in January. Lou Feldman, Brooklyn, New York, he would lose to him in 8 rounds. March 10th, Joe DeJesus, New York City, he would knock him out in 2 rounds. March 21st, Red Gorg Gugino. Gugino, Brooklyn, in New York. He would defeat him in eight rounds. April 27th, Dan McAllister, Liverpool, knock him out in five rounds. June 8th, Kid Tanner, Liverpool, knock him out in seven rounds. May 25th, George Daly, London. He would defeat him in eight rounds. August 8th, Teddy Baldwin, good fighter. Garfield, New Jersey. He would defeat him in eight rounds. August 21st, Billy Bullock, Baltimore, Maryland, knock him out in five rounds. September 18th, Lou Feldman, Baltimore, Maryland. He would lose to him in ten rounds. December 1st, Young Reitmeyer, New York City, defeat him in six rounds. 1940, he would have several fights. He would lose two fights. One January 29th to Paul Jr., Portland, and he would lose in 10 rounds. And his next loss would be to Coco Cade, murderous road fighter, April 29th, in Baltimore, Maryland. He would lose in 10 rounds. But he would also fight Tommy Spingo in Baltimore. He would defeat him in 10 rounds. Mike Martinez in Baltimore, knock him out in three rounds. Frankie Gilmore, Baltimore, he would defeat him in 10 rounds. He would fight Joey Silver. Baltimore, Maryland, knock him out in seven rounds. That was July 15th. Paul Jr., August 12th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, knock him out in five rounds. Paul Jr. was a very good fighter. Teddy Baldwin, he fight him again. October 7th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he would kill him in four rounds. December 9th, Jimmy Leto, another good fighter. Baltimore, Maryland, he would lose to him in ten rounds. 1941. Look at all of the fights he would have in 1941. I can't get this on my screenshot. He would fight basically once a week. Once a week in the month in the year of 1941. This is it's fascinating. Lord of knockouts. Sal Bartolo, good fighter, New York City. Defeat him in eight rounds. That's May 22nd. Lloyd Pine, June 17th. He would knock him out in two rounds. Bobby. Entire Long Island City in New York. Kill him in five rounds. That's June 24th. Jackie Wilson, very good fighter. July 17th. Baltimore. Maryland, he would defeat him in ten rounds. Paco Vila. Uh, Long Island City, New York. Knock him out in six rounds. That's August 5th. And September 11th, he would face Joey Archibald. In Washington, knock him out in the 11th round and win the World Featherweight Championship. Joey Archibald was a very, very good fighter. As you can see here, Leo Ruddick, good fighter, Washington. We defeat him in 10 rounds, October 14th. He had three fights in October. 
Ring Lani, another good fighter. San Francisco, I have his profile. 10 round victory, October 31st. November 28th, Jesse Morales, San Diego, California, knock him out in six rounds. I have all of these fighters' profiles, every last one of them. I can tell you they were good fighters. Look at all these knockouts. October 26th. November 8th. Look at this. Billy Banks. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Killed him in five rounds. Fascinating. 1944. Howard Brown. January 25th. Panama. Knocked him out in five rounds. Wow. Clyde English. Sacramento, California. He would knock him out in seven rounds. That's May 1st. On May 22nd, a couple of days later, Sammy Daniels, Baltimore, Maryland, knock him out in eight rounds. September 29th, Willie Pep, New York City, 15 round loss for featherweight title. You can see Willie Pat becoming the World Featherweight Championship of the World. That was in 1944. December 5th, Willie Pat, Cleveland, lost him again in 10 rounds. And we continue, 1945. February 5th, Willie Joyce, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he would lose to him in 10 rounds. April 9th, Jackie Wilson, Baltimore, Maryland, no contest in 7 rounds. April 17th, Willie Joyce, Los Angeles, California, he would lose to him in 10 rounds. July 31st, Henry uh, Jordan, Brooklyn, New York. He would knock him out in six rounds. Eurek Balanas, very good fighter. Los Angeles, he would defeat him in ten rounds. September 21st. I wanted to show you Eurek Balanos. He was a very good fighter. For a lot on the West Coast. I just want to take some time out to show uh, show you this fighter. I have his profile. A lot of knockouts. Fascinating fighter. Very good fighters. September 21st. Humberto Zavala. New York. Defeated him in 10 rounds. October 5th. Bobby Ruffin, Detroit. He would stop him in 10 rounds. Fascinating. Have all these fighters' profiles. November 2nd, Leroy Willis, Willis, Detroit. 10 rounds. He would defeat him. December 14th, Johnny Bratton. Johnny Bratton would be an NBA welterweight champion. New Orleans defeat him in 10 rounds. 1946. Took a couple of L's. Willie Pep, third round. He was stopped by Willie Pep. 47. He had two fights, one draw and a loss. 1948. He was stopped in the third round. All in all, he had total fights, 141. He had 57 knockouts, one on a decision 45 times, one on a foul, none. He had five draws, lost on a decision 28 times. He was stopped five times. One no contest. Chalky Wright died August 12, 1957. Los Angeles, California. Now, Turkey Wright went on to acting with Mae West. Mae West was a cowgirl in Western movies. But Turkey Wright had a very good career for Dynamite Fighters. He was a champion. I, I must place him in my museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff series. Salute to Turkey Wright, Dynamite Fighter. This is Scrapbook Box and Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuffs series. Thanks for hanging in here with me. Salute to all my subscribers. All great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. Peace.